She had the personality like this once the cameras come on. All Mr. Professional, all the time, this guy. Quick aside, I saw somebody on Twitter refer to Mumford & Sons as Imagine Wagons, and it like... <laughs> That's good. I don't know why that hat reminded me of that, but there's my anecdote for you. All set, guys? Excellent. So, back just to start off. Really super performance on defense tonight, you know, making sure that the USL Championship side was completely shut out at City Stadium. Can you kind of, and you captained uh, the team this evening. Can you kind of talk about the team's performance and, and specifically the back line? Yeah, I think uh, yesterday when we came in, or two days ago, I should say, when we met for the first time after traveling after Madison, we came in with a game plan. Darren set us up in a way that he thought would hinder some of the things that they like to do well. And then, you know, if we kept it 0-0, start to bring on our boys like Neil, Adi, Arthur, and really have a go at it that second half. And we stuck to the game plan, and it worked out well. I think uh, it was a big performance from the back line. Shella was massive, but it really took everybody. Like, the midfield was doing a lot of work, getting out to balls, stepping up, and really clogging up what they like to do well. So for the 11 boys that started, it really set the tone and allowed the guys that to come on to really do their thing. Yeah, and even though this was the first time that the kickers and Loudon have played like officially in a competitive match, a team that you guys are pretty familiar with playing them uh, every preseason now for the last couple of years, what, how did you feel that familiarity kind of helped the team? And do you think that in a way it kind of aided Loudon where you guys were trying to like trade counter punches and, and figure out each? Yeah, I think, you know, we played them twice this preseason. Uh, going back to even my first year here, we played them twice pretty much every year. Games always seem to get a little bit chippy. I think there's. Uh, no love lost there for sure uh, and yeah I just think like we we both can we countered each other well tonight you know you saw that with the 0-0 going 120 uh, they did well to stop some of the things that we like to do we had some big chances that we didn't take they had one or two that shell came up big for us but I think overall it was a really positive step forward for the whole team to get a shutout 120 minutes was massive uh, it's something that we've been looking to do and just continue to build on that going forward into the weekend. Yeah, and some of the guys that you were playing with in, in defense, um, Zaka having a massive performance despite an early yellow card, making yeah. sure he didn't get that second one. Uh, Griffith Garnett playing 120 minutes at, at 17 years old. Can you kind of talk about just like the guys that you were surrounded with tonight and that, that whole team effort, that team spirit? Yeah, I mean, Zaka's class. He's always going to do what he does. He's a special kind of player to, you know, take some of the pressure off a lot of the midfield that dirty work and be the type of dog that he is. Uh, yeah, it was funny. I turned to Griffin right after the 90. I was like, first 120 for you, huh? He was like, yeah. I was like, 15 and 15. Ain't nothing to it, brother. Let's just keep it going. And, uh, I like working with him. He's a great kid. He listens well. And you can see he's growing every day. Like, in practice, he's getting better. He's playing balls out of the back that, you know, a 17-year-old, you don't really see quite often. So I think he's a big-time player. Simon always doing his thing, man. That kid's, that kid's an animal. Like I call him the cyborg because he just, you know, does his thing and he dials himself in really well and couldn't be happier for some of the guys really tonight. I think it was a big time performance from the back line and really uh, Zaka. And like I said, it took everybody. You saw how many subs we did. Uh, moving in on that, I think we just got to continue to carry this momentum forward. You alluded to Shello a couple times. He made some big saves. How proud are you of him and his first start in the kickers? Yeah, I played with Shello back in 2021, was it? Yeah, in Tucson. Uh, uh, he's a big time player, man. The kid's a gamer. Like, he locks in once it comes to game time. And it, to, for him to get a shutout is like, I couldn't ask for anything more for the kid. I'm super happy for him. And just hope, like I said, continue to build on that. Like, Pablo's a great goalkeeper as well, and to have two guys back there at the core like that, working day in and day out together with Evan and James, like that's exactly the type of competition and the type of, you know, type of really competitiveness we need day in and day out. That's what we get 0-0 zero, zero results like that because of how competitive training sessions have been. Your penalty was great. I think I saw a big fist pump over to the fans. Take us through the psychology of that moment. Are you trying not to think? If you are, what's going through your head as you step to the spot? No, oh, yeah, I, I, you know, as soon as the PK start, uh, you have your, we've worked on it. You have your moment. You know what you're doing. Uh, for me, just take my time getting up there, relax my heart rate, and smack it home. Um, talking about PKs, how cool was it for you guys to be standing on the halfway line, seeing the crowd just migrate all <laughs> the way over here 
to the side. Yeah, I've, I, the coin toss was funny. I was like, uh, it was pretty much threw me off because the coin decided which way we were gonna go. Nobody picked it. So the coin decided that we were gonna go over there. I was hoping we were gonna try to get everybody in the stands <laughs> behind over there, but that's so be it. Nah, it was great. Like section O always shows out. Uh, the fans tonight were great. You can hear them cheering, chanting, like those are the type of vibes we need here at City Stadium and that's one of the reasons why like I love this club so much. Also, having your goalkeeper back there, Shallow, he's really aggressive coming off his line and he's snuffing up those chances. How for you being the captain, how great was it to see him have that moment where he was just making saves and standing on his head? Yeah, we kept talking about uh, throughout the beginning of the game before and warm-ups and stuff like that, that this is a massive opportunity for everybody. Uh, you know, not very often do you get to play a team up a level. And for us, I think we took the opportunity and we ran with it. Uh, couldn't be more proud of him. Like, he showed up tonight, first start in a massive game like this. And to be cool, calm, and collected like he was the whole game, stellar performance from him. Most people might look at this game and say that the Richmond gave up too much possession and that, you know, the game didn't get good until the subs came in. But can you just speak about the performance that Nick Simmons, Justin Suko, and those guys had before they got so good at halftime? Yeah, that was, yeah. we go into games with a game plan. And, you know, we're not just tossing out 11 guys on the field, just random 11 guys. Like, there was a method to what we were doing. And, you know, we sneak a goal in there. It looks like a genius game plan. Unfortunately, we didn't get to quite the goal, but we kept it 0-0 for 120 minutes. We had our opportunities when some of the, you know, Nil, Adi, Arthur came on. Uh, I thought Bonnie came in and did quite well for us too, just clogging up the midfield. So, like I said, it was all part of the game plan. And for us to really take the game plan and initiate that and have it be effective was uh, big time for the boys. And talking about that game plan, this team has had moments where they couldn't quite get the clean sheet in games previous play 120 minutes and have a clean sheet, like how massive does that make the defense feel confident? Yeah, it sets a tone going forward that, you know, we can do this. Like we've given up a couple goals throughout the beginning of the season and to go 120 minutes without giving up a goal against the championship team is something to take pride in. Uh, like I said, something that we can continue to roll on going into the weekend and just continue to build on the momentum. Like, like you said, it took a lot of guys tonight and that's what it's going to take on Saturday and going forward. That's why we're a team, you know, regardless of the 11 that's out on the field, there's a game plan, we stick to it and we try to be effective as possible. Thank you guys. Also, guys.